Hello, in this AWS security, uh, let us go through with module 3 knowledge check. So module 3 is securing access to cloud resources. So this is the knowledge check. We have about 10 questions in this knowledge check and uh, these questions are very good for preparing for your exam, especially for the uh, AWS security speciality and uh, you can attempt any unlimited times these questions. So let us start our module 3 question number 1. Which statement about AWS IAM is true? So with IAM you can grant principles a granular access to the console. Okay, this is correct. Second one, which option is considered a best practice to configure long term access in AWS IAM. So, you can say that attach IAM policies to IAM groups, not users, to groups and then assign IAM users to the IAM groups. This is the uh, right one, yes. Which statement best describes an AWS IAM role? So, you can say that the role a role is an identity that is used to grant temporary set of permissions to make AWS service request. Yeah, hopefully this should be right. Yes. The fourth one, which method would have, would achieve multi-factor authentication? So, you can say that this is, yeah, require an access key and authentication code from a hardware device. Yep, this is correct. Fifth one. Which statement regarding AWS IAM policies is true? So, yeah, resource based policies are attached to resources and grant permissions to the principle that is uh, specified in the policy. Yeah. The sixth one an administrator has decided to use inline policies to improve their organizational security posture. Which statement about inline policies is true? So, yeah, inline policies are embedded inherent part of a principal entry entity such as a user group or a role, obviously. The seventh one, which method would provide identity federation? So, implement AWS single sign-on SSO which supports secure interactions between an identity provider and a security provider, service provider. Yeah. Which AWS service relies on user pools and identity pools? So Amazon Cognito, which provides authentication, authorization and user management for mobile and web applications. The ninth one, which statement about AWS organizations is true? With organizations, you can attach policies to each OU for a fine granular policy creation and application. Yeah. The last one for module 3. Which AWS service does AWS IAM rely on to provide temporary security credentials for roles? So this is, uh, Check this security token service STS. Yeah, correct. So we have completed all 10 for module 3. So we, our score is 100%. Congratulations. You have just completed this module. So let me again meet you for module 4. Thank you.